Hey, what's up? It's Kit. Time for another video. Today, we are going to be rigging a fast jigging assist hook using the Variboss SS assist line. And this is number 80. And this is a VMC 7264 TI 9.0. This was sent to me a while back. And this is the only one I have left. So this was a part of a care package from the mothership, BMC, while I was working for them. And basically, they sent it so that I'd be able to do stuff with it. This is number 80. Now, uh, word of advice when you're working with this, soak it in water. So take the core out and then soak it in water so that it's uh, it's not going to be easy to work with but it will have uh, some effect it will actually kind of make things a bit better but not by much because this is really a bitch to work with okay so take the core off and then soak this in water okay now, I am keeping this long because I will make a knot here and I need it to be tight. Also, when you splice it, it gets shorter. So, uh, it's better to actually have it long so that you'll have a, a lot of working time. Now, the reason why I'm doing this, you might say like, oh, he's going to do another assist hook. Boot. See, the thing is, technically, I haven't done this yet because... We're actually putting a squid skirt and I know that a lot of people have requested this in the past. I haven't gotten around to do it, but what we're going to do is actually not just put a squid skirt, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that even if the squid skirt is ripped to shreds, you can take it off and you still have a, a nice looking assist hook underneath, okay? So... Um, for this particular tie, what we're going to do, of course, is the assist cord. We're going to be using a GP ring. If you don't know what the GP ring is, that's the one right there. It's a solid ring that's shaped like a pear. Okay? So, I'm going to soak this and I'm going to splice it. So, when you next see me in the jump, this will be spliced onto the ring. Alrighty, so uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I finally have it out. Mission and a half. Okay, so what I'll do is uh, I'll. This is a very important step, so don't don't skip this. So as you can see, it's still you know kind of in the loop there. What I will do is I will snug this up, and this is not an easy operation because sometimes it refuses to do it. So. You're going to have to force it, okay? And oh, there we go. So as you can see, it's like that. Now, and it doesn't matter if the orientation is like that, okay? Now, you take your pull tool and then pull this back, okay? And what you want is to actually have this stretched out as much as possible. So what I do is I take uh, like a pair of pliers. It's, this is perfect right here because it's smooth, okay? So, uh, and I just pull that so that it becomes fully stretched out. And you don't want to actually miss that step, but you end up with something like this. Red hands.
Okay, now that you have that, you can actually cut it to length just so it's uh, a pair of good cutters. Saves you a lot of trouble. Okay, so you have that length. All you have to do is just adjust it so that it uh, basically goes there. Now, you've seen this done a lot of times, okay? And all it is is just a knot like that, a square knot. So we're going to do that. But before that, what we're going to do is actually tie on something. And I'm using this uh, material. Uh, it's uh, specific for tying assist hooks. It's from Japan by, uh, I think, Varivas. I'm not too sure. But uh, this is Wiles. Uh, if you're in the States, this is very similar to floss for fly tying. So if you have fly tying floss, pretty much the same material. Okay. Uh, we will do this. And what this is, is it absorbs glue really, really well. <clears throat> really, really well. Okay. Uh, flash. It's going to be kind of a substantial chunk. It's a nine also. It can take a lot. So we take half, literally half of what you need. Okay, half of what you need because you're gonna double up. And when you double up, what happens is, see, you will have just enough. Just like that. Now, it's very important to leave a, uh, a bit of space here because you are going to tie your knot there. And also, at this point, what you could do is actually uh, put a knot there. Now, what I will do also is cut that just so it is um, even. And then, a drop of super glue. And what we're going to do is have all of the thread absorb that. And it doesn't have to be a lot. Just enough to actually just uh, wet the place or wet the uh, surface. It will get absorbed by the thread. And what will happen is that it will make this sort of uh, fuse, okay? Now, we take our line here and we make a an, pretty much an overhand knot, okay? And what you want is for this to basically just sit there like that, even with the uh, with the line tie like that okay I'm gonna zoom you guys in so that you can see what I'm talking about here so as you can see this is even okay it's okay so mark that Notice that I did not actually tie it on yet, okay? Because we are going to put the squid
take a small one and how I size this is pretty simple okay so see like that and then if you have your eye there like so there's going to be a little bit of uh, a little bit of the tips of the flash sticking out okay so for this we cut off the head like so exposing the hole and it's better if the hole is smaller than what you need because what's gonna happen is it, it's gonna hug the uh, it's gonna hug the the cord okay like so and it's gonna look cleaner so as soon as you actually have the squid out there just pull until it's over at the uh, eye I have been doing this uh, I think the earliest one would be like 2006 and uh, <laughs> yeah okay it kind of worked but it's not you know it's not uh, it's not something that uh, is my go-to so there we go adjust this okay here's the thing you need flat nose pliers to tighten that very very important step like so and then have your puller pull the other end with the, with the solid ring and then tighten like so and then pull so that it sits and forms a V at the eye of the hook I'll show you how that looks like there we go it forms a V right here sort of like a heart really okay and that's what you want because it centers everything okay now we tie and the sole purpose of us tying this is so that when the eye of the hook or sorry the this part the solid ring gets pulled it makes the knot tighter okay so do not do a bad job here make it as clean as you can there's no excuse for sloppy work okay so pull that so that tag end is going to get bound and what's going to happen is of course as i mentioned earlier is that this will tighten things when this gets pulled now if you do a really good job, what happens is that if this squid skirt gets wrecked, it doesn't matter. You're going to have a very good looking uh, assist hook even without the squid skirt if you do it right. So right now, what we're trying to do is make it, bind it as clean as cleanly as we can so that when we super glue it, it is going to come out really really nicely watch that tip that tip that point the hook point is your enemy for the threading bit a little bit and uh, it's gonna wreck things okay so there we go I'm wrapping this quite tight. Okay, now let's finish it. Okay, so that was three turn. We're doing another three. Okay. There we go. Right now, 
there's a little bit of fuzz there so we will just zap it with a lighter and it should take care of things now our super glue and uh, this thread make sure to saturate it just enough this thread is also kind of thirsty so make sure that there's enough before you actually uh, spread it if it's too much you can get a tissue and then just uh, touch it tissue will absorb now that's done normally I just wait until this is uh, done but we'll use this uh, accelerant I use an accelerant just to because we're filming okay so there we go whoops so there we go it's done now the last step is just to slide the squid over the eye Just like that and there we have it now obviously you can adjust the size of the squid this is what I have so I'm using that but you could use something that's bigger so that uh, you know it holds shape or whatnot but that is it okay so um, really not kind of real kind of not really crazy about this but some people find it useful so there we have it <clears throat> at least you can see that uh, yeah I mean that looks decent actually actually not decent but quite good okay there we go so if you want to learn how to do this there's that video okay if uh, you want to learn more and you haven't yet click on that subscribe button share this video with your friends and uh, learn with them share the channel there's a lot of videos to learn from especially when you're uh, fishing with kids and all you know if uh, there's some questions and stuff like that you could actually share this channel and tell them that like, hey watch this all right that way they would uh, actually see the steps as well. <clears throat> Very good father and son activity right there, making assist hooks. Alrighty, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click that uh, join button and uh, help this channel grow. That is it for this video. Hope you learned something, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Class dismissed.